Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the stuff I do on my phone. I love using my phone as a, a creative device for capturing ideas and actually even doing some client work, some professional work, or at least some stuff that I, I can then refine later on. This app is Autodesk uh, Sketchbook. It's just the, the free version of Sketchbook. A lot of people know about this. I think it's a really great app. I use the Samsung Galaxy Note 5S, I think it is. This, uh, this app is available for several phones that have a stylus. Okay, so one of the things I like about this phone is that it comes with this stylus and it's pressure sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff here. Uh, I have been working on a little personal project for a fictitious logo idea and so I've been using this to draw a wolf and I turn on the symmetry and I can just start sketching right here on the phone and uh, this is this is often how I like to, to kind of start things because I know that uh, this logo um, at least I have an idea in mind for this this wolf kind of being front facing I get his ears here so I'm just sketching with this little stylus right on my phone and I put his eyes in here somewhere and the the concept is called dead wolf so I'm actually making a, a dead wolf and I just want to like X his eyes out like that Okay. Something as as quick as that. Like there's a there's a good thumbnail already, and I do these kind of small to uh, on purpose so that I can kind of just capture the the emotion and the the initial inspiration. And I'll, I'll do a few of them like this while I have the sym the symmetry enabled. And each one ends up somewhat different. Maybe this one will have eyes. Do a couple more here. I like starting with just like the circle getting sort of that the front part of the skull there um, right away and then just kind of gives me something rather than white space to, to draw on. So the, kind of the concept behind this was just I wanted to create something that I could show some of these techniques that I, that I use and some of the concepts and the ways that I capture them. And uh, also, I like the idea of something that could be used for like, a, I don't know, either a a game developer company, uh, apparel brand, uh, could be a sports gear manufacturer. Dead Wolf just could it could represent quite a few different things that I thought were kind of cool. Maybe even a rock band. Maybe his head's cut off. I don't know. Do one more right here, a small one down here at the bottom. I like that you can rotate the canvas like this.
No one looks kind of happy that he's dead. I don't know. All right, so there's several ideas already. This one kind of looks like a badger. I can turn the symmetry off now, and if I wanted to, I do this a lot as well. I'll just take a different color and go in and maybe make some notes uh, or other other marks. You know, maybe this one. Uh, this one kind of looks like. A, I don't know what that looks like, but I like the the expression. I just might put an X by that one. I don't like that one so much. This one here. Uh, this one I like. And this bottom one I kind of like, but uh, I think this one may be my favorite. So from this point, I can just actually share this to my... I, I use uh, Google Photos, and I can just share it right to my Google Photos. And so I'm going to do that right here. Upload it to my Google Photos. Um, this is great because I don't have to scan anything. Yeah, I did all my drawing just right here on my on my phone. And I can even get it to my desktop without having anything else in the way. It saves me a lot of time and allows me to still be very analog, at least in the approach of, of, of gathering uh, my ideas. So then I can bring it into something else. For example, if I wanted to get right over here and get into my Google's folder, see I've, I've done this already a, a couple of times and I have several different ideas just using the uh, sketchbook there's my my drawing there that I just did okay so I can copy that and go into something like gravit and create my uh, create a, a new document here I'll just show you this, this this kind of hey guys make sure you watch the next episode where we take this sketch that we did on our phone and turn it into vector graphics like a proper logo. And we're gonna use Gravit. Stay tuned. <laughs>